Okay, we're gonna try to make a, a wrap around a scabbard so that you can tie into a belt. Let's see. Add a curve. Go over here to uh, set type to poly. So we straighten it out. And we'll convert it to mesh. Okay. This works kind of like the, the tutorial I saw that used a spiral, but it's a spiral won't work really well on these square objects. So, we'll have to kind of manually make a little blocky looking spiral that we can manually adjust. This stuff out of eyeball in pretty close. It's doesn't have to be perfect. Alright. And you can adjust this to whatever pitch angle you want. You want it good enough that the uh the straps the ends won't, you know cross on the ends there. Alright, let's see. Extrude that up, hit the Z to make it go up in the Z direction. And let's see here. There's a lot of ways you can do this, but we're going to have to make it spiral upwards. We'll use a mirror modifier just for giggles here, so we'll go like the Y direction there. Gotta go out to object mode. Apply. Again, there's a lot of ways you can mirror stuff. In this, in this case, we don't want to exactly mirror it. We want to make, we want to flip this around. So, what we'll do is R, rotate on the Z axis, 180 degrees, and uh, we want this to be spiraling upward. So we want the bottom of this to be at the the bottom of this to be at the top of this. So we'll go to vertex. We're going to do snapping. Make it active. The active one. The active one is going to be the last one you select. So these are all selected. I select the edge. Unselected. Then I select it again and now it's the active. I'm going to hit G to pick it up and I'm going to hit Z to confine it into the Y axis and that will pick it up. Now, let's run over now. We just hit the, take the two edges here, the shift click in it, and hit F. Now we got that. Now we're gonna want, want more than just this one piece, and you could copy this and and ease it up if you wanted to, but we're gonna make it more a little more exact, and we'll just use the array for to get it to go up like that. Apply that. I need to uh, get this one in. The, these ends here is where the two pieces need to join. There, to there, and all right. Now, okay. So now we can do another mirror modifier. Because we want this to kind of cross over each other. Like that. And. Okay, so we want, we want it to join down here at the bottom. So we're going to extrude. Back in the Y direction, kind of adjust it to the edge. This don't have to be exact because we're going to put a thickness it so we'll you know we can kind of adjust that out get that going that way and then go over here kind of bring it toward the middle but don't join it because we're going to make each one a different thickness that way they'll look like they're overlapping we'll do that we'll join them after we get them their thicknesses applied okay 
Uh, oh yeah. I gotta go out and apply. This is my first tutorial. Okay, so just select one, hit L, and I'll get all of it. Hit P, and I'll take it out to another. There's another object. So we select one of them, and uh, let's do a solidify thickness. Get out there pretty thick. Uh oh. Got some kind of problem here. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I see what the problem is. Select it and go out here to, uh, down here to the, uh, shading UVs as they recalculate. Sometimes the the normals get backwards. That ought to yeah yeah that fixes it. Probably ought to do that on the other one too. Just go ahead and do that. Recalculate. Okay, so we'll make this a little bit a little more thicker. We'll go get the other one. Do the same thing. Not quite as thick as we want it to, to look like it's overlapping without having to do on a whole bunch of uh, you know, tweaking. Well, I see that's sticking out through there. I better move this one some more. I'll tell you what I do. I can go on this one and offset it inward a little bit. That will help some too. There we go. Okay, so I think that's that's pretty good. We'll apply that. Apply that. And we can join them. Object join. And go down here to the bottom. I want to ounce this in a little bit here so it they look like they're you know, similar thickness. So they don't catch on to our little trick. Alright, we're going to delete the faces. Let's see here. Select that edge, shift, alt, click that, shift, alt, click that. Got both the edge selects selected. And uh, control E to bridge edge loops. Boom, there you go. That might look a little thick over here. Go to normals. And check in a little bit so it doesn't look too bad. And there you go, you can, uh, if you just subdivide it, it's going to kind of scrunch, but if you uh, put it to simple, subdivide it a few times, apply that, and then go back and subdivide it again, it won't look as, uh, it won't look as bad, it's smooth. Oh yeah, and you may want to, I, I, I could have come up here and, uh, well I made a one earlier, I'll show you. You can uh, delete that. Let's see. Put a few, you know, just kind of extend those off. And you can run that right into a belt or whatever. So that is the end of the tutorial. I hope it helped.